What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Broken Branch Woodshop. My name is Mark, and today we are going to be doing uh, charcuterie boards. And so what we've got here is we have some cherry uh, charcuterie boards that we're going to start on one of them already. Uh, and so we're going to go through the process of how I do this particular kind of uh, charcuterie board. We have a few different kinds that, that we have uh, templates for uh, that we cut out on uh, the laser on the uh, acrylic here and so what we've got here is just your regular charcuterie board and i've got two of them here and generally what i do uh, to be able to overlap the handles i have a wider board now these these tend to be a little bit more expensive when you get on the wider boards uh, but what it does uh, if you can put the camera down here is it allows me to overlap these handles and have enough space here uh, to be able to do that and we don't waste so much board there in the middle and so We put these out here and then trace them out with a pencil I'll use a uh, jigsaw to go around in here because these are pretty tight uh, Curves right here. I've even drilled some holes in them before to just kind of connect them to, to Make it a little bit easier, but once we do that uh, then I've got them in two separate pieces. This one has already been cut down and sanded. It's not completed by any means, uh, but just the, the rough shape cut out. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this other piece and we're going to take it over to the bandsaw and go ahead and get it cut out on the bandsaw and then get the template back on it, take it to the router table. We'll start lining everything up and then rounding the corners over, get it sanded down and uh, get the image laser it on there and go through our finishing process so stick around and let's see how it's done all right so right here we're just taking that image over to the bandsaw and we're just going proud of the line we're, we're not trying to get right on it uh, we're trying to get close to it but staying off of it to to give us some some room over at the uh the router table and then uh sneak up on the line there with some flush trim bits over there in a moment. So right here I've got a one inch Forstner bit on my drill and honestly I probably should have just left this over on the drill press because you can see it kind of get at an angle there but I had my chuck off the drill press so and here I've just got some double-sided wood uh, tape and just cutting that down to put that acrylic uh, template back on there to get ready for the router table so that we can just ride that edge and uh, square that up it's important here to get it on the lines because again we're really close on it so you want to make sure that it's it's straight so I'm making a couple of adjustments here I actually had just purchased these uh, double bearing bits and swapped out some of the old ones so I was making a couple adjustments seeing how you know how far away the bottom bit was from the top and uh, had plenty of room so made a few adjustments there um, everything was going great not having to swap bits out um, trying to avoid this mistake and it still happened right there on that narrow end you never want to see that happen but it just happens sometimes. So for your enjoyment and my pain, we've put it on here three times for you. Well. So, uh, a little bit of good news here. It did come off just in one chip, and so that's an easy fix um, with some wood glue. I'm gonna take that uh, acrylic off and uh, 
get some wood glue on there and put it in some clamps and uh, work on a few other boards and come back later after that dries and uh, just a nice easy fix that was a relief that it was just the one piece and now we'll just get everything make sure it's flattened out um, this is not a necessity to have with cutting boards or charcuterie boards but it is a nice asset this uh, drum sander here and now and I just sanded over I think off camera I just sanded up to the line around that handle to keep that from happening again and now we're back over to uh, the router table to do a round over and you see me there with that scrap piece and I've got a bucket of those just to uh, each time I get ready to do a round over or something, I, I use a scrap piece to make sure that the setting is right and that the round over looks good uh, before I start on the actual work piece there. So now we're just gonna kind of sand through. We'd sand it in the drum sander at 120 and now we're just gonna knock it down, knock those edges down from the, the round over uh, with the orbital sander there and uh, get ready to, to raise the grain and go into the next part of it. And so always wanna make sure and get something down in those round holes. Not really something that the hand touches, but you can see it, you know, if, if it's something that you skip over, you'll, you'll be able to tell. And so here we are just raising the grain uh, on all these boards. We've got it sanded down, but you don't want it to be rough after it gets wet for the first time. So we're gonna let those grains come back up and, uh, and give it another good sanding after we laser engrave the edges on there. This, this is a vital step in these boards. And uh, so now that they're dry, we'll go ahead and get the, get the tape on there. And uh, here we are, a nice sped up image of the, uh, the laser. I always enjoy watching these sped up like this because it just gets to see it a whole lot faster than you know when it's going in real time. And they come out great on all three of these. Even though I may have a little biased opinion on them, I think they turn out great. The tape, if you're wondering, we put the tape on there because as you can see the, the burn marks and stuff like that, they'll be on the board, but if you put the tape on there, uh, then the burn marks end up being on the tape and not on the board and it saves you uh, a lot of time in sanding later. You do have to, this is not so fun going through and picking off all these little pieces of tape, but it, it saves you a lot of time in sanding the board and, that's good too. We will go ahead and sand it again uh, lightly because we've raised the grain on it so we want to go ahead and get that other sand and and get it smoothed down but doing the tape it, it just it's a whole lot better. We went ahead and got the our emblem burned on the back there and so I'm gonna get that sanded down and knock those edges one more time make them good and smooth and here's everybody's favorite part of any woodworking or cutting board, charcuterie board, is seeing the oil put on there. And man, it's just awesome to see those those grains pop out whenever you get the oil on there. And this is a nice, beautiful cherry on this one. And you can see right there already, it's just soaking it up. Uh, and so we're getting the first coat on all of them, and we'll come back off camera and do several more coats on there until until it quits soaking them up you want it really in there real good and so we'll keep doing that until it quits soaking them up and uh, then we'll wipe them down and let them dry
they just turned out so good. Hey, I just want to say I appreciate all you guys for joining in on the video today to check out these charcuterie boards uh, that we've been doing. I got a couple of them here that we done kind of all at one time. Uh, they all turned out great. We got a couple of cherry ones like this one. We've got one uh, in walnut. Really enjoyed uh, making all of these and I appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a, a thumbs up. Uh, give us a comment about uh, you know what you think about them, maybe what you would have done different uh, or, or another type of wood that you would like for us to, to do or, or even we've got several designs um, that we can do on that and uh, give us a subscribe if you haven't done so already and share the video and we really appreciate all your time for for coming out and checking out these videos and supporting the channel so until next time be safe out there and we'll see you back in the shop thanks a lot guys <laughs> just leave it rolling i get I know, but I'm just imagining your face. All right. All right, here we go. What's going on? <laughs> Stop! Oh, if y'all can only see what she's doing behind the camera. We are going to be going over shark. Shark. Look on your face because you see if I said it wrong. Charcuter. Security. Security boards. Good Lord. Next time, be safe out there in the shop and we'll. Good Lord.